Welcome back to PCA's Garage. Today we have a special guest, Mitch McKee from Cobb Tuning. Hello, hello. Look at this, you brought some goodies with you. Um, for those of you that have been following the development of Porsches lately, you've noticed that they're adding these little things to the engines that make them go a little bit faster. They are indeed, the, uh, the turbochargers. And so with turbocharging technology, um, you and I were talking earlier back in the day, you know, the more the mechanical things that you can mm -hmm. do to a car to make it faster. And certainly there are still mechanical things that you can do to a Porsche to make it faster, but software is taking a larger and larger role in performance, especially with these turbo cars. So here we have the access port brought to you by Cobb Tuning. Yep. So tell us a little bit about, in general, what this does. The Cobb access port is a device that basically plugs into the car through the OBD2 port and it allows us to take control over certain engine computers, transmission computers, different things uh, that control the entire car. The nice thing about the access port is that you can install it all at your house. Um, you don't need to go to a dealer to do it, so anybody can do it in their driveway. Um, and it's totally removable, so as soon as you're done with it, if you don't want it on the car anymore, you can uninstall it and um, you know sell it or, or do whatever you want to do with it. So it's a pretty robust device in terms of what it can do. So here I'm going to pull the Cobb access port out of the box and plug it into the OBD2 connector. And then put the key in the ignition and turn it on. Once you do this, you'll go to the main menu of the access port. Here's gauges. This is where you can see real live data from the car in real time. It allows you to see various things and this is totally configurable to however you want. So you can change monitor to anything you'd like, engine speed, vehicle speed, battery voltage, fuel pressure, etc. And this can be set up to be configured into con different gauges. And as you can see with the little blue dots, it means that the car is actually data logging, which is the car collecting data onto the access port so they can be sent to either Cobb Tuning or to one of our pro tuners in our network. This is actually taking real-time data and recording it from the car. If we go back, we can now see that the bottom, the one underneath gauges is performance. Performance does uh, different tests of the car. So zero to 60, quarter mile, and dynamometer, giving you a calculated wheel horsepower and torque of your car. Troubleshooting gives you the ability to clear codes and read codes. So if you wanted to reset your ECU, you can go in here and do that. And the access port will actually reset the ECU for you. And just like that, it's all done. We turn the key off, wait 15 seconds or so. Turn it back on and you are good to go. If we go down to tune, this is where you can change calibrations of the car. So if you go into here, you see change map, you can see a bunch of different calibrations that get stored on here. The access port actually has the ability to store probably around 100 different calibrations if you wanted to get that in depth with it. Most people don't. So in here we can go in and change any number of these. So this could be based on different boost pressures of the car's turbocharged, different gasolines, track maps, valet maps, um, anything that you would like. If we go back, the last thing is uninstall. So this, by hitting this button, you will actually uninstall the access port entirely from the car, reverting it to, back to factory software, and makes the access port able for you to sell to somebody else or keep or do what you would like with it. With the access port also comes a free software called Access Port Manager. And the nice thing about Access Port Manager and the Access Port in general is that it gives you the ability to update using our free updates at any time that we put one out. So let's say that we add new features or we add new maps to the access port. It's free to update and all you do is use our software, connect to the access port, and then you can use 
the update button to go ahead and run any firmware updates. We try and make this as easy as possible for the end user so that you're not intimidated by any of the software and can still get all of the newest updates from CopTuning. Here you can see our Access Tuner Pro software. This is the software that Pro Tuners around the world use to custom calibrate cars. Um, in this case, in the standard 7.2, we've got a list of different parameters that you're able to data log. You can data log all of these at once or only a few of them, uh, depending on the car. So what we'll do to start is we can pull up engine speed and coolant temperature. And we'll bring this up. Once we hit OK, we can actually bring up the dashboard that will allow us to see in real time what the car is doing. So you can see that because the car is not running, engine speed's at zero. You can see the coolant temperature is moving at about 62, 63 degrees. So this also gives you the tuners the ability to go through different tables such as target airflow tables, target fuel tables, and things like ignition timing. So this is how a tuner can go in using our software and make custom changes to your car based on fuel type, conditions, uh, and whatever the customer would like. So obviously if you're looking to uh, move into this sort of product for your car, you're looking for performance gains. But probably the first question that's going to come off the top of most people's mind is, you know, what will this do in terms of my warranty? Yeah, warranty is probably one of the biggest questions we get asked. Um, you know, we don't sell this product as a product that's warranty friendly. Um, you know, every dealership is a little bit different. Um, they may say that it's frowned on, some may say it's okay. We have dealerships that actually even sell access ports and install them. It's just really kind of up to your dealership. We do say that if you are gonna modify your car, whether it be an access port or an exhaust or anything, that you know you always run the liability of losing your warranty. So you know that's still always a concern and it is always a possibility. So, you know, the performance gains. Porsche is known for its efficiency, mm -hmm. um, you know, churning out every bit of power from its power plant. How can there be still more power left in the car? Porsche leaves a lot of safeguards um, and they you know, do things to really over-engineer a car to make sure that they cover their bases in every possible scenario. Uh, the nice thing is, is that they overbuild the cars um, and when they go to manufacture them they kind of pull everything back. I would say a lot of it is because if they do want to you know, create new higher models like an S version of something they can you know, add that extra power without having to make hardware changes. The nice thing is that leaves us a lot of room to go in and make changes in software like increasing boost pressure, you know, readjusting timing, you know, making sure your fuel ratios are correct, things like this um, to, to really pull everything we can safely out of the car. You know, and, and that's a big thing with us is just really trying to make sure everything's as safe as possible as well as making more horsepower and torque. Now, how many Porsche models is this system available? As of today, uh, we're up to nine. So we've got nine different part numbers for the Porsche. That basically ranges from the oldest being 996 to the newest one we just finished is uh, the Macans. Is there a trade-off? I mean, by cranking it up, I mean, are your turbochargers going to last l less or, you know, what's, is there a trade-off? That we've seen, no. We do, we go to pretty great lengths to make sure that our calibrations are going to make cars last for a long time. So we don't want to give up anything, you know, we don't want there to be, if you get a flash, your car is going to last for 10,000 miles. We're, that's, that's not how, you know, our business wants to operate. So what, what we do is we do things like for 9 on 1 turbo, you know, we actually took a rod, you know, f we purchased six rods from Porsche and we did a stress analysis on them to see what they're actually capable of withstanding. And that's the type of you know, R&D that we do for just about every product um, in some capacity to make sure that we're not trading off on anything, that we're not going to hurt anything, um, and that we've got our bases covered and that you know, the car is going to be safe and that people can enjoy them without having to worry. We have a green initiative at Cobb um, where we do not do anything that will tamper with any type of mission related controls. Um, that's a big, big no-no for us, so um, it's just something we don't, we just don't do.